This is a newly released LCD projector. It's the Gamma by Vust. It's by a company called Artly. I've reviewed Artly projectors in the past, so I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Before I go ahead and unbox this, just a bit about the pricing information. This is roughly retailing on Amazon right now around the £300 price mark, but they run voucher codes and discounts from time to time. Check out the description, hit the link and see the latest pricing information and also check out for any exclusive discount codes that I have for you guys so you can get this cheaper than anyone else. Before I open this up, let's take a look at some of the key specifications of this projector. This is 1080p native, but it upscales to 4K absolutely fine. It has Wi-Fi casting so you can mirror your iOS iPhone or your Android via Miracast. One of the key things that I look for any projector before I purchase them are these two specifications here autofocus and auto keystone. This makes it so much easier for you to position your projector wherever you like for it to automatically adjust and get you the best picture angle with minimal effort. It doesn't mean it doesn't have any manual focus or keystone. If you want to correct it and adjust it slightly, then you do have the manual options inside the settings. So you get best of both worlds. It has Bluetooth 5.0, so you can connect this to a soundbar or to your headphones and maintain a really solid connection. And it also supports 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi. One of the things that's not listed on here, which I think is one of the key specifications about the Gamma Boy Vast, is this includes Dolby Audio inside the speakers. Now to anyone that's not familiar, Dolby Audio is a 2D audio technology that makes subtle enhancements to whatever you're watching, be it a sporting event, movie or TV series. So that sounds generally better than normal hi-fi speakers that you generally get on projectors that you buy on Amazon. It automatically adds details so that you can hear better dialogue, for example. I don't want people to get confused with Dolby Atmos on the other hand, because Dolby Atmos is a 3D immersive technology that allows a speaker or speaker system to trick your brain into thinking that the sound is coming from all around you. It essentially gives you the effect of feeling like you're watching a movie in the cinema with speakers positioned all around you, even when they're not. But just having Dolby Audio inside these speakers, I think that is a very good option and I'm excited to see how good the sound quality is. As always with all of my projector reviews, how you guys see the demo and hear the demo on whatever screen you're watching this on will be slightly different to how I'm seeing it in person. So just bear that in mind. And I always recommend that you do use headphones when you are listening to this video, just so you can get the best audio quality and a sense of how this performs. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So you have this very nice two-tone light gray and dark gray carry case. Just on the side, you have yourself the remote control. Let's take a look how this looks. You've got the power button, the mute button, the focus adjustments, the source, menu directional and enter button there in the middle, back, menu, home. You've got the keystone correction button there in the middle if you wanted to manually adjust that and the plus and minus to increase and decrease the volumes. It does require two AAA batteries. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. So you have a HDMI to HDMI cable to connect this to any other device such as an Apple TV or Amazon Fire Stick, whatever it may be. You've got your power adapter. And then just on the side, you have yourself some cleaning equipment, a microfiber cloth, and then you also have the instruction manual to get up and running if you need to. And last but not least, let's take a look at the projector itself. Now I have to say, I really like the design of this projector. It's the first one I've seen that has this leather strap and rubber handle at the top making it easy for you to carry and position in different various locations around your home let's go ahead and take a look at some of the buttons so you have yourself the power button just there at the top and if you wanted to use the buttons on the projector itself without the remote control you have your back button the menu directional buttons up down left right and an okay button just there on the right hand side the front of the projector has this type of military green color to it which I think is quite nice I've not seen any projector color like this it does have a lens cap that you can remove like so and you've got your infrared sensors there now you can mount this on the ceiling so you do have four screws there that you can adjust with any bracket for ceiling mounts you have a tiny little kickstand if you wanted to adjust the elevation of this and change the angle you have speakers on both sides of the projector there and I'm also going to be testing the fan noise to see how silent this is and then at the back, if you wanted to connect your headphones via the cable, then you can do that directly in the headphone port there. Two HDMI ports, two USB ports, and then the power port there. 
This doesn't have any Android TV on there, so you do need to connect an HDMI source to watch content. So I'm gonna be connecting my Apple TV to show you guys a demo on the quality. So let's go ahead and now set this up on my projector screen. It can go up to around 300 inches, which is absolutely great. But the ideal size I would say is around the 100, 120 inch point. So I'm gonna be showcasing this up to 100 inches on my screen and then showcasing some sample videos to you as well as an audio sample via the Dolby Atmos YouTube channel. Okay, let's get the screen down. And I've got a bit of daylight coming in because I wanted to also showcase how this looks in very well lit rooms. But I'm going to start off with first showing you the autofocus and auto keystone by moving the projector around the desk a little bit in various different positions, elevations, height levels, those kind of things. And then I'll run through some of the settings that you see inbuilt into this system. And then we can go straight into the demos of the video quality and the audio quality itself. Okay, just powering this up for the first time. I'm standing next to the projector as well, so if you guys can hear any of the fan noise. You can hear the fan noise quite a bit, but once you do start playing something, then it should disappear a little bit. As you can see, this is starting to autofocus itself without any involvement from my side. I haven't touched the projector yet. Once this is done, it will load up the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm using the remote control. Now, it's not positioned accurately onto the screen, so I'm now going to move the projector around a little bit just to make it larger and fit the screen a little bit more comfortably. You'll see it will start to auto keystone and auto focus itself. It's now doing automatic keystone correction. There we go. That was very quick and easy and that was perfect. If you press the keystone button on the remote control, you can turn automatic keystone off if it does perhaps maybe interrupt during a movie, for example, or anything like that. Or if you wanted to manually adjust the keystone, then you can do that from here. And likewise, you can turn automatic focus on and off from the settings of the projection here. You also have the option for digital zoom. If you click this, then you can adjust this by pressing the up and down buttons on the remote and zooming in accordingly to your liking. Now this is a pretty standard menu screen. I'm gonna just run through some of these settings, but you can connect to USB and then play movies, video files, music, and photos. There's even an office suite here as well. So if you wanted to showcase some documents and use this for business and do a presentation perhaps, then you can also do that from here. If you've got an iPhone, you can do iOS cast. You simply click that and just follow the instructions. Make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi and this should work absolutely fine. And likewise with Miracast, you can connect your Android screen and mirror anything you want to showcase from your Android phone or tablets. Let's go ahead and check the settings quickly. You can connect to Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi settings. You can go to Bluetooth and look for anything you want to pair, maybe your headphones or a soundbar. Projection settings, which is what I just showed you, you can find that here. You can get the system update. If you go into other settings, you can also change the language if you like to, and you can schedule a shutdown if that's something you want to do automatically. So pretty standard settings. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Apple TV to the HDMI one port, and let's just jump in to one of the video demos. Also, I'm gonna be standing quite close to the projector, so listen out to how the audio quality is with the Dolby Digital Audio, and then also Listen out to how loud the projector fan might be and if you feel like that might interrupt your audio. And last but not least, I'm going to make it black out in the room as if I'm going to be watching a movie at night time. So there won't be any light source coming in, it will be very dark. And then I'll give you my review on how the video quality performs. So let's get straight into it. Okay, let's go ahead to HDMI 1, turn on my Apple TV. One thing I just wanna say is with projectors of this price range, I think the brightness level and the clarity in the screen that I'm seeing right now is brilliant. This is 400 ANSI lumens, which I've seen a lot of projectors, especially that are even slightly higher priced than this one, with lower ANSI lumen intensity. I also have a 550 pound BenQ projector at home, which is only 300 ANSI lumens, and this one is much cheaper, and it's such stronger picture that I just can't fault the performance of this. Let's go ahead and actually see, with this brightness level, how the video quality comes in a couple of videos that I'm about to play to you guys.
Okay, for me personally, that demo that you just saw, it was one of the clearest pictures I've seen using that same demo clip in a lot of the projectors that I reviewed in the past. The picture was clear. I tried to upscale it to 4K as well because that video was available in 4K and it looked great to be honest. And just remember how I'm seeing it in person might be slightly differently compared to the screen that you're watching this video on, but it is super clear. And although I have made it dark in this room, it just makes the video stand out so much with the vibrant colors, the sharp details, the deep blacks. And I'm just gonna showcase one more clip, very similar to that one. And hopefully you guys can get a good clarity in the audio that comes from this, as well as some dialogue in the background of the video. So let's go ahead and play. And one thing I also wanted to mention, I only had the volume at 60. I didn't go all the way to 100 because at 60, that was loud enough for me to fill up my large bedroom here. If I wanted to go to 100, then I can imagine that would be really loud and it warrants me not to have a soundbar connected via Bluetooth. Ultimately, it's your decision if you want to use Bluetooth to connect this to external speakers, just to increase your audio experience to whatever you're watching. But just with the internal speakers, if you care more about clear dialogue and how loud the speaker is for you to hear it at a distance, then I think this does a very good job. Now on audio, I'm going to showcase this demo audio clip from Dolby Cinema. Of course, this isn't Dolby Atmos, this is Dolby Audio. So try to hear out to see the quality if you can, try to use some headphones and let's go ahead and see how this performs. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy Soundscape system into the scene. Or captures the full extent of nature's fury. this it's just the beginning of dolby vision because what you thought was black isn't this is black this is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen this is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema.
So there you have it guys. Hopefully that video and audio demo was useful for you guys. For me personally, the clarity in the video quality, the contrast, the colors, the vibrancy, I can't find too many faults with this. I think this is a very decent projector, especially at this price range. You can see from this demo video that I'm playing right now, how clear it is, how much it actually lights up the room, which sometimes is quite difficult to do with projectors with lower brightness levels. I think this is great. This is a brand new projector that was recently released and they've done a very good job making sure they have all of the key specifications that anyone would need for a home cinema. And with that Dolby Cinema demo I just showed you, I had to put the audio up to 100 because the video itself on YouTube is actually quite low in volume. So if you really wanted to set up a permanent position for this, I think ideally you should have external speakers with it, but as an overall package, to set up your first home cinema system, I think this is great. So hopefully that review was very useful. It gave you guys an indication of the capabilities of this projector. Do check out the link in the description below to find out more information and look at more specs and look at the latest pricing information. If you guys have any other specific questions about this projector, as always, drop a comment down below. I'll leave a playlist of all my projector reviews that I've done in the past in case you guys wanna check those out as well. Make sure to subscribe. I have new videos out all the time reviewing projectors and other cool tech gadgets. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.